And when you can catch those irrationally pessimistic moments, that's what dreams are made of. That's what dreams are made of. That'll change your life. Uh, Rodrigo says, hey, Derek, question. How does irrational exuberance uh, factor fit with the debt cycles? I think that means factor in with the debt cycles you explain in the mentoring in the macroeconomics module. Uh, how do they work together and which of them have more influence in the prices of the market? Well, you, know, you just went through the credit and debt cycle parts, all right? And I mean, as far as people being irrational, I mean, you, you must see that. And if not, we'll, you're, you're gonna learn it. It's gonna get unpacked throughout the rest of the program. But um, the, I mean, the, the best times to buy stuff is when people are irrational on the plus side or the downside. When they're irrationally exuberant, as you say, that they're, they're optimistic about the price, um, they're optimistic about you know future prices of things, and they buy, 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 and keep driving the price up. You know, at some point that becomes like the biggest fool theory, as they're, they're they know the shit's too expensive, but they just hope that some somebody is a bigger dummy than them is going to come into the market and keep driving the price up. And um, I think that a lot of the tech stocks are priced that way. They're they're priced for things to be absolutely perfect, and if they had a serious problem, you know, those, those prices can crumble. Uh, you'll find things like that in a lot of, uh, a lot of you know, well, really almost any state of the market. There's some things that are still priced for perfection. On rare occasion, you have fantastic moments like March 2020, you know, like December through March of, you know, 2008, 2009, December 2008 through March 2009. You have, you have these rare moments where there's just a, you know, a, a panic to the other side, that they're not irrationally exuberant, but rather irrationally pessimistic. And when you can catch those irrationally pessimistic moments, man, that's, that's what dreams are made of. That's what dreams are, that'll change your life. That'll change your life. When you can catch those moments when people are irrationally pessimistic, irrationally scared, um, and they just sell. and. There's a lot of things you'll learn in the course of you know how the how markets are put together where when you when a group of people sell something you know there's I don't want to talk about the whole thing now because I want to answer your questions but you know I could talk about 30 minutes about this or you know, talk for hours about it but you know there, you have a situation where somebody sells something and the price gets lower and then somebody else gets scared and they sell and the price gets lower and then somebody else is like oh the price keeps going down I better sell too before it gets even lower and then the price gets lower. And then you have institutional money where, you know, it, some of the institutions start crossing, you know, covenant thresholds where they're forced to sell, even though they don't want to, they'd like to be buying more maybe, but they'll be selling instead. And then the price can get really smashed down because you have, you know, big, big uh, money managers, um, you know, retirement fund managers, et cetera, selling and shoving the prices way down. And then you get hedge funds get blown up that way because they're leveraged. So they have two, three times leverage, you know, two and a half times is pretty industry standard for a lot of these funds. So you know they got three times leverage. Hedge fund gets blown up. I right? you know their their assets get liquidated. That price that drops the prices of that and other stocks. Boom 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 boom. You have you can have these cascading effects where the market's just getting slammed really for no rational reason. But then you know as other people watch it, they get scared too and they sell 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 and they have selling frenzies. And a lot of it's like computer automated. So. Uh, it's an extraordinary thing to watch and uh, it's much more fun to participate in that and be a beneficiary of that. And when other people are, are frightened and, you know, they're in this panicked frenzy of sell, 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 it's a great time to be on the other side and, uh, you know, start to buy, buy, buy for, you know, th not everything, not indiscriminately, but, you know, very discriminately. Find the things that, are, that you like most. Find the things that you think are going to um, perform the best over time and, you know. You want, to, you want to be well prepared. When you get those opportunities, you know, every seven years on average, once in a decade, when you get one of those opportunities, um, you wish that you spent six cents on coffee instead of $5. You wish you had that other $4 and 94 cents to invest. You wish that you had, uh, you were more frugal in the past. You wish that you said no to stupid shit instead of buying stupid shit. So um, it doesn't pay frugality pays it doesn't pay to spend money that you can't afford to spend uh, I never pay a penny I spend a lot of money on my credit cards I never pay a penny in interest I just pay it off every month I don't spend money that I can't afford to pay the bill I never spend money that I'm gonna pay interest on uh, you can do that for real estate investments you can do that in a margin account 
but I would never do that with consumable goods or luxury goods. I would never do that. It just would be really asinine. If you are or are on your way to be a millionaire or multimillionaire, you're probably going to want to spend time with my clients. You're probably going to want to have a personal relationship with me so we can accelerate that process, get you living up to your, your maximum potential, earning your maximum wage. You're going to want to click that follow button. You're going to want to click that bell and get notifications. Tune in every Friday. Tune in every Monday. You're going to love what you see. I look forward to having you as a client in the future.